here welcome back to ultimate naval dreadnoughts where i have to go through the naval academy again because score patch 0 0.5 reset progress to zero. Oh fun so we're starting off with the very first mission target practice and i wanted this to be sort of a tutorial slash guide to how to play ultimate naval dreadnoughts so the very first one this is a very very easy mission uh, the enemy can't go anywhere um, basically all it's doing is uh teaching you giving you giving you an example of how to use the ship designer so you can go for optimized secondary guns optimized main guns or balanced gun techs i'm going to go for optimizing the main guns because we're, we're building a battleship so just blow up the enemy battleship has 11 inches of armor so main guns will let us punch through that pretty quick at least hopefully uh we have to use a pre-dreadnought as well so it's battleship two uh, and as well, when you're doing Naval Academy, cost matters. Uh, so if we go for two battleships, we're going to be looking for a cost of about 50%. Um, now, what kind of guns do we get? Mark 312s. Oh, no, that'll do. I don't normally put the guns down first, but uh, I wanted to see what the weight offset was on the different sizes of hull. Because I'm, I'm going to take a guess no the, the weight offsets make no sense to me none I'm going to go with the smallest size I think uh, might as well go for the best towers we can to get some uh, ability to uh, shoot now looking at the costs I'm probably just going to go for one one battleship, so let's max out the cost for now with uh, <laughs> a veterans. No choice on that, no choice on that. Oh my goodness, thank you for the resub, uh, Swipple. Hey there, Paladin of Argyle. Yes, I am having a go at the Naval Academy. Now, casement guns, maybe. Torpedo launchers can be useful too, particularly if the enemy can't move. Um, so we'll bring those. Casement guns. Can I be bothered? The reason I don't like bringing them is you can see my roll stat, which is here, has gone from not very much to very, very high. So I'm actually not going to bother bringing them. We're just going to rely on the 12 inch guns. Uh, I don't think there's any way to balance the ship even vaguely sensibly. Oh, there is. The ship is going to look stupid, but uh, we can do it. If we try. Uh, 52 smoke. Triple funnel? Triple funnel doesn't fit. That'll do. Uh, so, what I'm looking at here is the smoke interference stat. I'm trying to get that as close to zero as possible. So, a large funnel works. And then, I'm going to increase my speed until my engine efficiency is 100% or goes below 100% uh, which is not very far below 100% uh, <laughs> literally just 60 knots okay we'll just leave it at 60 knots screw it um, yeah that'll do um, upgrade the armor I think that's worth doing any upgrades we can get no options there, no options there, no options there. Uh, loading, yes please. No options there. And heavy shells, why not? Now, I have displacement left, I have cost left. Uh, so, I might as well up armor the ship. Turrets first. I don't want them going boom. Uh... 18, shouldn't need too much on the tops. Four inches should be more than enough. Uh, and then I want main belt. 12 inch. Uh, now my cost is high, but my weight is... Uh, maxed out which is not ideal but um can finesse that later a bit more of that 
Uh, don't need as much. Definitely don't need as much deck armor. You're never going to get hit <laughs> on your deck this early on, surely. <laughs> he says confidently. Uh, six inches of four belt. Five point six on the ring. There we go. Uh, and yes, I know minimum bulkheads. <laughs> You're blown up rather quickly. Yes, yeah, because you're using this brown and black powder. It's... And you, you start nice and close to them. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping the torpedoes do the job and they don't have any. And that we can just black them slow up. Look at that chance to hit. Ah, oh, that's the advantage of having a veteran crew in pre-Dreadnought era. Target doesn't fire back. Yeah, you get 15 minutes to sink them. Well, that's why I went for the 12s, because they'll, uh, they'll cause a lot of damage. And uh, very quickly, or at least that's the hope. because of a bad angle. But uh, I'm going to try and sail around the other side of him. I've got 10 minutes left. <laughs> Destroying the main tower. I believe takes out their damage control. A bunch of ricochets. We'll get lay alongside and uh, then we'll slow down. Shows off the ricochet mechanic quite nicely. Here we go. Not much showing anymore. Slow right up. Quite sure why the torpedoes not firing. It's definitely in range. Well, at least you would assume it's in range. Maybe it's not. Well, twelve-inch guns should do the job. And miss at five hundred. Uh, I don't think I'm missing, um, but uh, I will get the odd ricochet or uh, a few flooding hits. Oh, thanks, Harbour. Oh, teach me to read. Apparently, you can't use torpedoes in this scenario. You have to use your guns. Well, that's fair enough. It's 
nearly sunk. Not sink it just a little bit more. Hit. Come on, that's got to finish it off, surely. Nope, gonna run out of time. God damn. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Yeah, you probably can ram it. Uh, yep. Well, now that, I, now that I've read the description, you can take those off. Uh, now that I know it doesn't fire back, we can just go, nope. Uh, we can dump this, we can dump that, and this. And now that gives me spare weight, so I can reduce displacement down to the minimum. Five percent. Hmm. What do we need to lose to get five percent? Cramps and bingo. Two battleships with seasoned crew. There we go. Doubled my firepower. Let's go. Oh, ramming hardly does any damage anymore. All right. Here we go. Uh, let's split the divisions. You're already 100% chance to hit. Full stop. Uh, you. You're also 100% chance to hit, but your angle is bad. Slow up. Probably by the time you come to a halt, we'll uh, be level with them. It's more like it. Maximum bolt kids on this one. taking down all the engines. Oh, this is going a lot better. <laughs> yep, more guns, absolutely. Bring two. Bring two ships. <laughs> Doubles your number of big guns on the target. Flooding. Might be enough to take them out. But nope, they've stabilized it somehow. Keep blapping them.
finally hold it uh, in the middle and that will sink it. Huzzah! <laughs> okay, Naval Academy mission done. And I'll see you again soon for the next one. Bye for now.